Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're just stopping by for the first time, you're most definitely welcome. In this video, I'll be guiding you through the top 5 highest paying data jobs in 2025. And the whole point of this is in 2025, data jobs are getting much more lucrative than ever before and I'll be breaking down the different job roles in this field. And this for someone who is probably just starting out or for someone who wants to advance in their career. So let's really see what career in this space actually gives the biggest buck in this year but before i begin it's important to know that this analysis was done by motion recruitment so motion recruitment is a recruitment firm based in north america across the us as well as also canada and pretty much the reports are designed to help you make informed decisions in this competitive market that we're in currently so you can use this analysis to benchmark your compensation also you're able to use this analysis to help you like guide in demand skills as well too and also plan your career much more strategically and it is backed by specialized recruiting teams as well too. So you can bet that this analysis is actually top notch and provides the right value. So sit down and stay along as I guide you through the whole process of the different job careers that you look into if you want to break into the space of data analytics. Starting with the lead screen role is the data architect's role. So data architect's role has an average salary of about $186,000 and data architects are the ones who create and maintain the data pipeline. So they're the one who maintain the frameworks that define the data flow, the storage across different platforms. They are the ones who also help design the blueprint for how data is stored, access and also manage across all the organization. So, or rather the many teams they also work with and collaborate with are the engineers, the analysts as well too, and also the business teams to ensure that the architecture presence supports all their business needs. Now, to excel as a data architect, you need expertise in data modeling, cloud data platform solutions as well to like Snowflake, AWS Redshift, Google BigQuery for building scalable storage and also um, for processing as well too. Also you need a very good understanding of database design. Also your ETL tools are very important for you to learn and to know. So like your DBT, your Apache Spark, your Apache Airflow, your Databricks because these ones are literally critical in designing systems and as a result of this they help also build scalable and secure platforms as well too. So what that means is they're literally indispensable in the data field, in the data space as well too. Especially in business because right now we know that most business are moving towards the cloud-based cloud -based solution so it's very imperative that if you want to break into the space of data architecture you have these different tools in your tool belt now the second job role the second job role is data scientist with about two hundred thousand dollars upward that's like the average salary and they often refer to as a swiss army knife in the data world for a good reason now listen to me because this ones they are versatile professionals one also they help to clean messy data too they also help in building predictive models and translate complex data into actionable insights. Now, to succeed in this role as data scientists, there are some skills you must actually have. I mean, data scientists are literally like one of the most in-demand roles right now. And you've probably seen some of their different skill sets as well as also tools they use. But just for the purpose of this video, here are some skills that I must for this role. The first one is Python. Either Python or R, any of this program language, very important. Also machine learning for helping to create predictive models as well while also building these predictive models some libraries are important for you to have as a data scientist include scikit-learn tensorflow PyTorch. Also, this ones that data scientists also have a very good knack for data visualization as well. So, so tools like Matplotlib, Seaborn, Tableau, even Google Looker as well. I have a video on Google Looker on my channel. So please ensure you actually go in there and learn how Google Looker works. Now, the purpose of learning this data visualization is to help present this insight they've generated from the mess data they've cleaned to present to their stakeholders. So these data visualization tools help them create insightful visuals and also statistics and probability very 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 important now data scientists are in high demand no wonder they are the fourth highest paying job roles in the data field because this ones they help unlock hidden insights and also solve complex business problems as well too now the third role is the machine learning engineer with about two hundred and ten thousand dollars an average salary of two hundred and ten thousand dollars so think about this machine learning engineers as the builders of intelligent systems that predict outcomes and uncover insights these professionals are literally responsible for developing and fine-tuning machine learning models to make accurate predictions. So beyond training the models, 
they also integrate the solutions into production systems to, de to deliver real world results. They literally rely on a mix of foundational libraries and also advanced frameworks as well, so such as the circuit learn the TensorFlow, the PyTorch, and also some data engineering tools like Apache Spark and also cloud platforms like AWS or even like the Google Cloud Platform as well too. And also because they are in the space of deploying models, some model deployment tools that it's important for you to learn or to know even break into this space is tools like Docker or Kubernetes because these tools are important for integrating the models into production. With a salary of about $210,000, the demand for machine learning engineers would continue to rise as long as AI also rise because it's a critical component in industries like the finance space, the healthcare space, and also the e-commerce space as well too. So while we're still here, kindly ensure to like, share, and also subscribe as well too. And as we go through this video as well too, I want you to comment on your dream job and also share your current role as well too if any of all these roles apply to you currently. Now, the fourth highest paying job is the role of the AI engineer with about $212,000. Now, please note that all the rules I'm calling or all the rules I'm mentioning are starting from the most, the least paid down to the highest paid. Think of this AI engineer role as the second highest paid job in the data space. Now, these AI engineers are literally at the forefront of innovation because these guys, they build intelligent systems that mimic human behaviors and also decision making as well too. These ones are the ones that that will build chatbots, your recommendation systems as well too, and also virtual assistants. They work together with AI tools in order to ensure that they build scalable solutions for different businesses. Now, beyond building these models, they also integrate AI solutions into their business applications, also ensuring that their work is efficient when it comes to scaling it within the organization. To succeed as an AI engineer, there are some expertise you need to know, as well as also some cutting edge tools, as well as also frameworks that are important for you to break into the space. The very first one is PyTorch and TensorFlow. Now, these tools are important because they help you to build, also train and deploy deep learning models. The second tool that you should also have in your tool belt for this role as an AI engineer is AI services. So think about platform like AWS, Maker, very important because it literally helps to simplify your whole process of machine learning models. Also, in terms of um, tools like Google Cloud AI, very important. And also Azure AI because they help to simplify and also scale AI models and also deploy these models as well too. Very important, the next skill to also have is NLP. So NLP is nothing but natural language processing. So think about tools like your hugging phase, which helps to build conversational AI systems. These are one of the many skill set that you can think of adding to your tool belt if you want to break into space of AI engineering. Also, very important, machine learning algorithms. That's one skill you cannot even miss out of if you want to break into the space of AI engineering. Now, these guys in entirety, they have the ability to actually design and deploy scalable AI systems. As a result of the skill set they have, it means that they are always in high demand and because they're also in high demand, this also drives competition in terms of salary ranges as well too. Now, the highest paying job role. Yes, hold on is actually the computer vision engineers, right? With about $218,000. So if you've ever wondered how self-driving cars detect um, pedestrians or how facial recognition system works, that's literally computer vision at work. That's computer vision in action. So these engineers, they design algorithms and systems to process and analyze visual data. Now, context on visual data. So what that means is that they work on data such as images as well as also videos. So their work literally power applications like object detection, also image segmentation as well too, and also real-time tracking as well so very important to excel as a computer vision engineer you need to master some tools which is very critical like python i mean we all know that python is one of the most commonly used language in the space of even machine learning as well as also computer vision project as well too. also you need to have skill set like tensorflow and pytorch as well because these frameworks are important for deploying and training deep learning models. So this is a framework that you need to learn and to know if you want to break into the space of computer vision engineering. Because these are the different frameworks that are needed for detecting objects as well as also image class classification as well too. So now the next skill you'd also want to learn as well too is OpenCV. OpenCV is more like a library that is packed with tools for image processing and analysis. It's very important to have this skill set under your tool belt. And the other one or rather the final skill set you want to have 
have is in mathematics and algorithms because guys you need to learn and know a lot of math to be successful in this role because with the rise of a lot of autonomous vehicle smart surveillance and also augmented reality your air and vr as well so just computer vision engineers are in high high demand than ever so which job are you looking to aim towards in this year 2025 is it the ai engineer the data architecture or the computer vision um, engineer what of which of this role actually interests you the most remember no matter where you start the key is actually to keep learning and leveling up your skills regardless because as we all know a lot of things are really evolving in the tech market. Before I end, please don't forget to like and also comment as well as also share and subscribe if you haven't subscribed as well. So one thing I would like for you to do is also comment what roles interest you the most. Let's keep the conversation going in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.